Most people think of Vulcan as the homeworld of Mr. Spock and his fellow Vulcans in the Star Trek universe, but there was a time when astronomers thought there might be a real planet Vulcan going around the Sun inside the orbit of Mercury. In 1859, the French astronomer and mathematician Urbain Le Verrier published results showing that Mercury's orbit couldn't be explained by the combined effect of the Sun and the other known planets using Newton's law of gravity. The problem was that the point where Mercury came closest to the Sun, its perihelion, moved around or precessed more than it should. Le Verrier suggested that the extra precession could be accounted for if there were a small intra-Mercurian planet. He proposed that this new world, if it existed, be named Vulcan after the Roman god of fire. Le Verrier had already played an important role in the discovery of Neptune in 1846, so his ideas about Vulcan were taken very seriously. On December the 22nd, 1859, Le Verrier got a letter from a French physician and amateur astronomer, Edmond Lescarbo, who claimed to have seen an unknown planet cross the face of the Sun through his telescope. Le Verrier visited Lescarbo and became convinced that he really had found Vulcan. On January the 2nd, 1860, Le Verrier announced the discovery of Vulcan at a meeting of the French Academy of Sciences in Paris. Based on Lescarbot's observations, he estimated the new planet to be in a nearly circular orbit 21 million kilometers from the Sun, with a period of revolution of 19 days and 17 hours. Other amateur astronomers sent Le Verrier reports of having seen Vulcan in some cases many years earlier as it travelled across the face of the Sun. Sightings continued on and off into the early part of the 20th century, but gradually it became clear that Vulcan didn't really exist. And in 1915, with the publication of Einstein's general theory of relativity, the anomaly in Mercury's orbit was completely explained without any need for an extra gravitating object. There is no planet between Mercury and the Sun. But in recent years, astronomers have found many planets in very small orbits around other stars. One of the big surprises following the discovery of exoplanets was the existence of large planets, so-called hot Jupiters, in orbits that are much smaller than those of Mercury around the Sun. It's also possible that there are some asteroids orbiting the Sun closer than Mercury. They'd have to go around at distances between about 9 million and 31 million kilometers from the Sun in order for their orbits to be stable. Astronomers have called these hypothetical asteroids Vulcanoids, after the planet that never was. <laughs>